Hey guys, how's it going? This is Mike from MNR Automotive. Today we installed a 30 inch light bar onto a 2016 through 2023 Toyota Tacoma. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna First open the hood. First thing we're gonna do is take off the two 10 millimeter bolts on top. And now we're gonna take out the two push pins on the sides. And just pry this up with a screwdriver. Take out the pin and then get released, pry it, push it, and take this out. And now we're gonna release these two clips to release the wiring from the grill itself. So just push these through and push them down, squeeze them, and push them down. So now I'm ready to remove the grill. I'm gonna lift these two tabs up, release it, and unclip the rest of it. Notice there is, a, is still a wiring harness for the front camera. I'm gonna head, go ahead and leave it the, the way it is. I'm just gonna prop the grill up so that way I don't even have to disconnect it. All right, let's talk about what's included in the MR kit. With the package, you're gonna receive a 30 inch light bar in either white, amber, or white with amber DRL. You're gonna receive two mounting brackets that get mounted onto the vehicle and all the supplied hardware to connect the light bar to the bracket as well as to connect the bracket to the vehicle. Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and install the brackets onto the light bar. I found it easier to install the brackets beforehand and then install it on the vehicle due to limitations of space. So I'm gonna go ahead and thread this side and notice that I'm gonna thread it all the way on top. We did make the bracket long enough for you to be able to adjust it up and down but if, you, if the light bar is positioned all the way on top, it's going to align up with the top opening of the grill. Good, I'm gonna do the same thing on the passenger side. So the brackets are on the light bar. We can go ahead and mount it using the mounting points of the bracket. We're gonna reuse this push pin and we're gonna actually put a bolt and nut on, on these openings. So let's go ahead and remove the factory push pins. This is one. Here's the second one. And now we can maneuver the light bar inside and align the whole bolt holes. So I figured it out, if you go backwards, you can kind of feed the light bar through here. And then turn it in the direction that, you're, that you need. So now the only thing you have to do is slide this bracket underneath the bumper tabs. I'm gonna lift this up and slide this right under. I'm gonna reinstall the push pins in the factory spots. In, push. Now that the push pins are in, I'm going to use the MNR hardware. It's a bolt, nut, and washer in order to secure the bracket to the, the front frame assembly. So there's a washer that goes on first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and thread it into the nut. We are just going to finger tighten it in order to check the alignment of the light bar. And if we're happy with the alignment, we're going to go ahead and use a wrench. Let's see where it looks. Um, if you use the highest point of the uh, mounting point of the bracket, um, it will align with the top row of the lower grill. Now that I'm happy with the location of the light bar within the slot, I'm going to go ahead and tighten all the bolts. That's it. Now we're ready for wiring. For this install, we use a generic wiring harness with a wireless remote. MNR does not provide or sell the wiring harness, although we will put a link in the description where you can purchase one yourself on Amazon. Let me go over what this wiring harness looks like. So it has a relay and it gets connected to a positive and a negative terminal on the battery. On this end, you have a remote control, plus you have a wireless module that you could utilize. If you don't want to drag the button inside the cab through the firewall, you can just disconnect it from the wiring harness and just use the wireless feature. It makes it a lot easier. And on the other end of the wiring harness, you have two leads for two separate light bars. Uh, we're only gonna be using one, so we're gonna go ahead and cap one of the leads. Let me show you guys a remote that it comes with. So you'll be able to use it as an on off as well as two, flash, uh, two flasher functions. First thing I'm gonna do is connect the light bar to the output part of the wiring harness. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect red to red and black to black. And that will provide power to the light bar. Okay, we're not gonna be using the second part for the second light bar on this harness. And the only thing that's left here is to just give the 
wiring harness power by just putting this on the battery. Red goes onto the positive terminal, black goes to the ground. First I'm going to connect the positive end of the wiring harness to the positive of the battery. The cool thing about these big eyelids is you can feed them through here, through the bolt itself, and then tighten it back up. And I'm going to do the same thing for the negative terminal. I'm going to loosen it. I'm going to slide the eyelid over and reconnect the same bolt, reconnect the same nut. So just to recap, positive and negative on the battery, positive and negative of the light bar to the harness, and then let's see if everything works. So by using the remote with a flip of the switch, you are able to activate the light bar itself, on, off, and it even comes with cool flashing modules where I can flash the light bar in different patterns. Then there's this one. And here's on. And here's off. Hope you guys like how easy it was to install a 30 inch light bar on a Toyota Tacoma. Thank you for watching.